Students are facing serious charges after police say they took a gun to school. Good evening, I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. This all happened at Friendswood High School. Witnesses say a 14-year-old student showed a gun hidden inside a binder to another student there. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is outside the school now. So Brandon, investigators say that they were alarmed by what they found on the teen's Instagram and Twitter accounts as well. Yeah, Lauren, and that's after they began following the trail, which led them to the gun and those two students who are now in custody tonight. As they began digging, they did come across those social media posts, as you mentioned, both Instagram and Facebook, showing, according to investigators, a fixation on school shootings, particularly the Columbine massacre of 1999. As we mentioned, two Friendswood High School students are in police custody tonight. One was arrested last night, the other this afternoon. Police say this investigation began Tuesday after police alerted administrators that another student, another, I'm sorry, after a student rather alerted administrators that another student, a 14 year old, showed off a gun that was hidden in a binder. Police searched at the school, but they couldn't find the gun. It turns out that 14 year old's uncle then reported his gun was stolen the same day after learning his nephew was suspected of bringing a gun to school. Later last night, police say they saw pictures of the gun popping up on social media, and with that, those disturbing messages about mass shootings at school and the Columbine High School references. Friendswood ISD sent a letter home to parents, which read in part, quote, the students involved will receive swift and appropriate consequences in accordance with school board policy. Both teens, again, are in police custody tonight. They have been charged with unlawful carrying weapons in a weapons-free school zone. That is a felony. They are in custody in juvenile jail tonight. Investigators here at the school district, though, applauding the efforts of that initial student who alerted administrators to the fact that a student brought a gun to school, also telling all parents to pay close attention to what their children post online. And friends, what I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.